بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي براذا سيسترز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can create this uh, part this triangular part in rivet But before, I, uh, before this I want to show you uh, some of the, my libraries uh, as you see here I have this library uh, we have uh, many kind of uh, as you see here uh, many kind of uh, decorations there are many things as you see uh, I have columns classic columns you see so uh, we learned how we how we bring this with this one into into uh, our uh, rivet family okay we learn so it doesn't need to, to in the first lesson if you uh, go back you see uh, you can uh, bring this one for for an uh, entrance door or whatever you want anyhow so uh, let me go back to my uh, uh, tutorial for uh, for this one you see, as you see here I want to make something like this and it's for, uh, fully parametric if we uh, change this dimension let's say for thousand and this one will be 120 Applied, you see. Now we change everything. Change. We can. We can also. We can make this one parametric, so we can do it. No problem. Okay. Uh, the radius of this. So uh, I'll show you how we can make something like like this. Okay. Uh, the first thing, uh, because it's a parametric one, I want to use a family. So I will uh, open new file. And it's as if he's uh, English Imperial, so I'll uh, go back one folder and bring English metric, and I will start with a uh, metric window. Just click open, and you see now uh, this one is uh, open. Okay, for for this one, where I'm going to do use uh, the uh, I want to use the parameters, change the parameters first. Uh, let's say we have this 4000 and this one 1500 uh, is okay and the seal height is let's say 200 or 400 maybe just click apply and okay we will we can change this one later no problem uh, go to exterior side as you see that the wall is now uh, is fit with this uh, one so I will want to I want to extend uh, a little bit of wall to the right uh, left and right side and we uh, use this one as you see we have this this void but uh, I, I will I will I uh, will remove this void later okay not now I will remove this this void later anyhow uh, so let's just start the, the best way the best way to do to uh, make something like this is here uh, we have something like a revolve one okay we have something like revolve so uh, but sorry uh, we can use sweep not revolve you see because the revolve is for uh, something like uh, a circular one but I want to use this uh, one which is sweep the best way is using sweep for this I want to go to create and go to create sweep uh, as we know sweep is two things uh, the path and the uh, and sketch so the first thing is a uh, sketch path and we are going to use a lines as you see everything just like this and canceled canceled again and after that I'll take uh, this uh, sorry I'll take this uh, this one and bring it to this point you see or at this point I want to just uh, bring it to some point that I can uh, see it from left or right side or from top and bottom just uh, just to uh, make a sketch easier for me okay so now uh, at this point and uh, I will say finish and I will go to the second part which is the profiles as here we don't have profiles we can load profiles if we have okay or we can uh, edit uh, profile or scratch our profile as you see I want to uh, uh, say it or watch it in uh, uh, from left right side and just open it uh, okay so it's uh, something like this uh, what I'm doing now, uh, what I can do, I can just go to from the oh, make this line and make about uh, through uh, 25 or 20 centimeters, okay, 200 millimeters, 20 centimeters, and after that, let's say uh, 40, 
and uh, we have 20 so I will say 50 and I will say uh, I don't know 150 uh, maybe and 50 let's say 40 40 and I don't know if uh, I want to make a, a an arc one or leave it like this so anyhow le let me just make something like this not not too too much so after that I can cancel it and I can select everything and bring it back to uh, this up to this point and of course I have to close this this line by um, this uh, shape by a line between them just click OK okay and uh, we can just click finish and we see if we go to 3d view we see we have uh, this kind of of, uh, of uh, this dimension uh, let me go to one and with the realistic you see now we have uh, this one can we make these dimensions uh, uh, parametric yes we can we can do it we can just go back to the sweep and go back or select the sketch first and edit a uh, profile and go back to the uh, right side and we can uh, make this one uh, uh, parametric we can just select this one and then select this one as you see and select uh, this one to this one uh, so this is the where I will be width, Cornish width and Cornish height and after that uh, we can say this is the first step and this is the uh, start or uh, let's say start and end okay we can specify these two start and end and of course here uh, we have start and end So now I'll, I'll name uh, this one and uh, this one selected and name it as a CO width. Just click OK. CO width, uh, which is Cornish width. Uh, this is CO height. We can specify them. So I will, I will bring this one so we can specify after that uh, this I will make some uh, one okay these two I will make one so I will select both of them and uh, say se which is start and uh, height start and C which is start and Cornish height okay and uh, these uh, two also I'll name it with start and Cornish width okay just click okay <coughs> so now I think uh, we have everything uh, so we can just uh, what we can do we can just click here and click finish now we have this one we can change here from the parameter uh, Cornish width is where this the height is uh, so uh, this is not uh, the, uh, the height of this one uh, we oh, sorry dimensions if we click here and Cornish width we bring uh, up to the Cornish uh, height and this one because it's related to the Cornish so I want to br uh, put them below each other just like this and this and uh, as you see start and width is uh, we can just specify as a 40 you see now it changed this one changed uh, of course we can uh, specify the height and the uh, width let's say 140 by 140 and apply it you see just click OK and finish it and go back to the uh, sorry 3d view we have uh, this one okay 
What about this void? How can I uh, remove this one? You can you can just uh, uh, roll, roll over the mouse here and tap tap till select only this one, this part or this blue line and delete it. Just just uh, like this. After that, go back to the exterior view. As you see, we have uh, uh, this uh, this one. So what I'm going to do, I will uh, put a dimension line. This dimension line only uh, supposed to be these two lines uh, uh, all, all or uh, every time this uh, reference plane will be in the middle and I will make another one in, th in this middle uh, here uh, go back to the create reference plane and again uh, make another pl uh, plane and escape it uh, I don't care about uh, the dimensions now and I will make a, a dimension line I can I can do whatever I, I want I can fix one one of them uh, you see it's not not uh, a big issue and uh, so now every time uh, this will be in the middle and I'll create another another uh, one another extrusion let's say uh, and I will make uh, this one in this middle and let's say 200 for now uh, just cancel right click cancel and right click cancel again or uh, two times uh, press escape on keyboard and I want to make this one also parametric so I will uh, make measure and uh, something like this after that escape two times select this one uh, we can just name it as middle round middle circle diameter okay just click like this middle center diameter and uh, for the where uh, what we can do we can just say okay and uh, I think uh, the, the the extrusion let's say what we have we have just uh, only 40 and applied let me see it from this side uh, but it's 40 it should be minus 40 and this will be zero because it's go in inside the wall as you see now we have uh, this one it's good uh, if we go to right side, so, uh, right side, uh, for about the you see, you see we have uh, we have this one, okay? We have this one. If we have uh, this one, and uh, also we can make another uh, sweep for this one, so we can do it, uh, or m we can we can make it uh, a little bit nicer. Uh, so it's from exterior and go to the uh, sweep, select the path, pick path. And this one and this one and we can lock it click edit profile we want to uh, see it from right side and we see here we have this one and we will start uh, our profile from this point up to and start an arc from this point up to this point I don't know let's say up to this point and we can make something like this uh, after that oh sorry escape it select line 40 and 15 let's say and uh, we can what we can do we can just go to up to uh, this point and click here and close it cancel it finish finish uh, you see uh, it, it needs a delete element because uh, we have some problem just cancel it and what we can do just go to sketch and let's say one two eight not point two and now it should work yeah you see now uh, go to 3d we have uh, this thing okay and now uh, this parametric if we change this one to uh, 120 it should remain in the center see just click ok so we could uh, bring this one and if we want to uh, let me first uh, save it and let's say triangle triangle decor uh, family it's just like this and save it and if we want to make a new project uh, architectural uh, per, uh, template okay 
and we want to make some wall cancel it um, just go to 3d we want to uh, this one not connected to, to, uh, to level 2 let's say I want to put here and uh, so uh, I will go back to the triangle and load it into project I'll bring it to this point you see now I have cancel I can cancel this one uh, so I have this one you see just click this one on the seal height uh, I can specify whatever we want let's say uh, seal height we have 2000 meters and you go back to the family edit, edit or edit family I will uh, delete the extra one I did some some uh, changes this one and I'll change it no problem uh, let's what we have uh, 7000 1500 uh, applied the circle uh, middle circle height is 100 the circle height and let's say uh, this is 40 anyhow uh, no problem just click OK I think uh, this one is OK you see now we have this one and we can change uh, uh, this whatever or we can use the, uh, here uh, this one whatever we want how about if uh, the wall is less height you see it works for example if we want to make a wall uh, is not level 2 let's say and connect it and after that uh, I will specify 100 which is a, a very small wall but this one the seal height let's say uh, 100 uh, or let's say 100 yeah let's say 100 it will work apply it you see it will work uh, what was what, the benefit of that the benefit of that is when when I have something like this when I have a, a, a rectangle like this we can use it you see now we can use it here and this or this one but of course uh, at this at this time I cannot I cannot use something like this because it will be on void you see uh, I can show you should you see now it's clear uh, this one is on on void so how can I fix this one this problem it's pretty easy just go back to the uh, frame and we want to make an extrusion uh, around this uh, circle and go back to the exterior and make another uh, extrusion go to create an extrusion and of course we want to pick uh, this line and but just let me go back and pick line unlocked pick line locked pick line locked just like this and this one will be zero and maybe uh, this one about only 10 millimeters finish it see something like this it's, uh, it's very good so after that load into project and uh, overwrite existing you see now we have this uh, kind of cool uh, rectangle and if we uh, bring back oh sorry it just just selected and it is the the width and the height uh, so, uh, 2000 applied okay now we don't have any problem with this so this the the uh, the problem we uh, we could fix it uh, so this uh, this for today uh, thank you very much uh, don't forget to like and share and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.